Well, it's the 2016 Wisconsin Bull Bros bull hunting season. And going into it, we were more pumped than ever. Put a ton of work in the off season, shooting, scouting, setting up our stands. We even planted our first food plot this year. So needless to say, going into September, our hopes were super high. September had come and gone. Uh, we had one good encounter in September, but couldn't get it done. October, come and gone, still nothing on the ground. We took our trip to Minnesota. That was November 4th to 7th. Had some really good encounters out there, saw some nice deer. Couldn't quite seal the deal, so we came home empty-handed. Back in Wisconsin, um, just seemed like the clock was ticking. It got to be the weekend before the Wisconsin gun opener, and we thought, hey, it's now or never. Let's do it. So I took my climber out in the woods that day, and I thought, I'm going to sit all day if I need to. Now's the time to get it done. Good morning. Morning of November 12th. Cold morning, finally. We got weather in the 30s. Dropped about 10 degrees overnight. And, I mean, the road is in full swing.
I've already had three bucks all within range. They're getting progressively bigger. So I'm hoping um, a decent sized one steps out here soon. It's only about 8.30. So I'm gonna sit, hopefully as long as it takes. Well, after that point, I had lost pretty much all faith in that spot and knew I had to move. It was a little before noon at that point, so I had plenty of daylight left. Just had to decide where I wanted to sit. Um, my buddy Mitch was up on this ridge overlooking a soybean field in a stand that my dad had sat earlier that morning. And my dad that morning had seen a handful of bucks including a nice wide 10 pointer one of our top hit list bucks that we had seen a couple times earlier in the season um, my dad had to get down that morning and mitch decided to sit there so for the last couple hours he had been watching that deer out in this field and as luck would have it the farmer decided to harvest those soybeans that day which eventually pushed that deer into our woods uh, mitch texted me and said he had to leave. He had an obligation that day and the stand was wide open. So I packed up my things and I made the trip up to the ridge.
right down that row and then he ducked in where the rest of them do you know just before he gets to the edge here he ducked in and then I saw him off to the left I saw him putzing around in these saplings and stuff and stuff yeah oh my goodness mm. so he, he was quartering away but I saw the arrow both sides and it was you know how do you get that to slow-mo where's slow-mo Jake knows. Yeah, pause and then play. <laughs> There's a bunch of trees right here. Yep, I know. Oh, see, he took one more step before I went. Okay. It is the morning after, it's November 13th and I am headed back out to the woods. We let that deer sit overnight last night. I knew the shot was not good at all so we elected to let him lay. Didn't do any tracking last night. Um, and then my, my buddies Jake and Mitch were in there hunting this morning, back in the woods hunting. And my buddy Mitch actually, on his way to his stand, saw my green luminox shining down the path and he walked over and there was my buck laying there I cannot believe it I was preparing for a long track job this morning and he sent me a picture at 530 of my deer what are we doing Stevie's deer <laughs> again <laughs> Nice and stiff. It's probably been dead for a while. Looks like I hit that artery along the back there. Definitely got lucky. Very thankful. Like I said, got lucky with the shot. This is the one that Mitch saw earlier that afternoon. And he came in at 4.30. Just a beautiful, beautiful deer. Heavy 10 pointer with a split brow. And Dave saw him earlier. Too. And Dave. <laughs> and Dave saw him. <laughs> I told you guys to go there. Both there, guys. So. <laughs> yep. Awesome. 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 What's our tagline? Wisconsin Bull Bros, baby. Yeah. <laughs>